What are you even talking about? We've been dating for two years, and half of which we've been living together. And now all of a sudden I'm not good enough? No, Max, that's not what I'm saying. We're in our 20s. Then what? All of a sudden you want to go out and experience life as if you haven't been? Am I not good enough for you? We both need to date others and live our lives. We need to experience things. You're 100% sure? You have no doubts, no fears? No. You can't say you love me and then break up with me. Are you even sure about us? Because I'm sure. Uh, okay, you know what? We're gonna write down how much we love each other out of 100%. Max, are you serious? This is so childish. Sixty-seven? Max. If a movie has sixty-seven on Rotten Tomatoes, I'm not gonna watch it. I was being conservative. I didn't want to shoot too high. Well, shouldn't we have just written down a hundred without thinking about it? That's it. I'm going to hands. You're being beyond ridiculous. Sorry for doing the math on our relationship. You're just gonna quit on us? Hello? Hey man, what's going on? You haven't left your house in like two days. <laughs> yeah. Hey listen, I heard about what happened. Wanna meet me at the park later? Yeah, alright, yeah, let's do that. Alright, see ya. See ya. You say I don't look much like a lover Doesn't mean that I won't try to set your world on fire That's a messed up game. I might need to use that for a breakup sometime. Well, I guess it's better that you found out sooner than later, though. I, I mean, experience life? What's that supposed to mean? Why can't she experience life while she's with me? It's like she's scared of commitment all of a sudden. 67% isn't all that bad, Max. That's a C. You pass the class. Are you taking her, her side on this? Like, you're supposed to be my best friend. And plus, you you got 100% last year. Nobody gets 100, Max. Sure, me and Jamie are married now, but it varies from day to day. On a good day, you can get like 100%. On another day, like 70%. And then sometimes on bad days, it can dip below 30. It's having to work for that 100% every day that keeps us happy and keeps us together. Sorry, I, I gotta go. She's texting me. Right. See you, man. Such great news. What is it? Tell me. I'm moving to Tokyo. That's, that's amazing, right? It's our time in our lives to do crazy fun things and it's winding down. Yeah, um, but where are you gonna live? Do you have a job offer? I mean, you don't even speak the language. Max, it'll be an experience of a lifetime. Max, come with me. You know I can't. I, I'm good where I am right now. But um, tell me more. I saw my life branching out before me, like the green fig tree in the story. From the tip of every branch, like a fat purple fig, a wonderful future beckoned and winked. One fig was a husband and a happy home and children, and another fig was a famous poet, and another fig was a brilliant professor.
and another fig was E.G., the amazing editor, and another fig was Europe and Africa and South America, and another fig was Constantine and Socrates and Attila, and a pack of other lovers with queer names and offbeat professions. And beyond and above these figs were many more figs I couldn't quite make out. I saw myself sitting in the crotch of this fig tree, starving to death, just because I couldn't make up my mind which of the figs I would choose. I wanted each and every one of them, but choosing one meant losing all the rest. And as I sat there, unable to decide, the figs began to wrinkle and go black, and one by one, they plopped to the ground at my feet. So, I mean, like, what do you think? Yeah, I think you should do it. But do you think it's going to be worth it? I think if, if you care about someone or something, then you need to chase after that, and you need to capture that and hold on to it. You're right. So, yeah, I think it's completely worth it. All right, yeah. I, I agree. I, I gotta go. Hey, you forgot your book. Go get him, Tiger. I get really nervous when I fly. Not, not that I'm trying to give you any pressure or anything. It's gonna be a pretty long flight. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be long for sure. Is this your first time going to Italy? Yeah, it's... Five minutes because you're a frog. <laughs> <laughs>